Glenn McLean last updated 1331, September 24, 2017 Kane Thompson made his first start for Taranaki against Hawks Bay. A home semi-final continues to look a distinct possibility for Taranaki, after they ended their longest provincial rugby losing streak at Napier on Saturday night following a comfortable 48-17 win over Hawks Bay. While their final position on the Midter 10 Cup Premiership table will become a lot clearer after they've fronted Tasman and Canterbury in the next fortnight, Taranaki have moved up to second after North Harbour lost their unbeaten record on Saturday. It had been 44 years since Taranaki won in Napier, but it appeared fairly evident early on against an out-of-sorts Hawks Bay that they should bank maximum points. Taranaki captain Angus Tavau impressed against Hawks Bay. They eventually did although there was a brief period late in the first half when Hawks Bay threatened to be competitive. However, Taranaki got the job done off the back of a dominant pack, a more organized defense, and having more potent players in far better form than their hosts. The fact Taranaki did it, while changing more than a third of their side from the previous game, was also positive with the only negative from the night a hamstring injury to halfback Kyla Modenel who had made a decent impression in his first start of the season. Adrian Weirill was impressive in a rare start for Taranaki, scoring a try against Hawks Bay at McLean Park. There were other positives to come out of the night too. Line-out variations were successfully introduced, a new locking combination appeared to bring more scrummaging power, open side Adrian Weirill had his best game for the province, while fellow loose forward Peter Soaculas continued to make progress by becoming more and more prominent. We are progressing forward, and we are where we want to be with our set piece and our defense which I think work well, Taranaki coach Colin Cooper said. We just have to work harder on our discipline and stop letting teams back in because of it. But overall we were happy to take five points away from McLean Park. Cooper admitted he was frustrated at halftime given their 14-10 advantage did not reflect their dominance, but he was pleased with the reaction he got from the players in the second 40 minutes. They were also able to introduce teenagers Tom Florence and Sire and Matto after the score blew out. We did say a few hard words at halftime to get everyone back on the waka, so to speak, and they came back and stuck to what our game is and am pleased with the response. Saturday night's match also highlighted the fact that a number of players should be considered to start, although the caliber of the opposition must be questioned. It will be interesting when we get back to see who does make the final 23 for Tasman. We are already focusing on them, and we are going to find out where this team really is when we take them on. That match is on Thursday night at Yarrow Stadium. At a glance, Darnaki 48, Toa Halafuhi, Marty McKenzie, Ricky Ricciatelli, Peter Soacula, Sean Wainui, Adrian Wirrell tries penalty try, McKenzie 3, Khan, Penn, Sire and Matt O'Conn, Hooks Bay 17, Cardafiga. Ihea West, Jarvi Ike tries West Con. HT 1410. Stuff.